in this video i would like to explain uh, regarding ladders so these are the images showing uh, the different components we have in ladders so different components we have are uh, side rails rungs vertical bars and safety hoops here we can see so it is called the safety hoop and uh, i'll explain to you what is a safety hoop and all in uh, coming uh, slides and uh, here you can see now it is called uh, the rung and uh, uh, these are called the different side rails so i'll explain in detail in coming slides so these are the different components that we must keep uh, regarding ladders so these are the different types of ladders uh, we have uh, they are uh, step ladders extension ladders platform ladders step stools telescoping ladders and uh, folding ladders so as far as the detailing in, is detailing is concerned in detailing uh, we must remember a uh, few points uh, that is uh, the top um, the top and bottom elevation of ladder should be given so uh, whenever we are detailing ladders uh, we, we must keep in mind uh, to give the top and bottom elevation of ladder and uh, the distance between the each rung in the ladder should be maintained constant so this is the important uh, thing we must keep in mind that is uh, the distance between the each uh, uh, rung uh, should be maintained constant and uh, the ladder connection details should be given and uh, if uh, the length of ladder is more than six feet uh, the k should be provided uh, this is the most important and what is the c uh, this is called the cage okay i i will show in the coming slides what is cage and all and uh, the distance between the two rails should be indicated and the minimum should be two feet Okay, and uh, so these are the different requirements of a fixed ladder and uh, here we can see if ladder exceeds 24 feet it must be equipped with safety cage and uh, here here we can see the minimum clear distance between the sides of individual rung and between the sides of rails of other fixed ladder must be fixed so safety cage so it is called the safety cage and uh, uh, if it is if ladder exceeds more than 24 feet uh, then definitely we must provide for safety cages and uh, these are the other important specifications we must keep in mind maximum height of ladder without cage uh, we can go for 20 feet so it's a maximum height we can go that is 20 feet and uh, maximum height of la ladder with cage we can go up to 30 feet and uh, ladder width should be minimum should be maximum 18 inches and uh, distance between rung to rung is uh, 12 inches and uh, the connections between the platform to ladder uh, is uh, 6 inches minimum and maximum 9 inches and uh, after landing cage height should be minimum 4 feet uh, and uh, the distance between landing to first rung should be minimum 4 and a half inches to maximum 1 feet uh, the ladder take first step from wall must be 6 inches minimum if the ladder height is more than 20 feet uh, provide cage and cage should start from ground level that is minimum 7 feet and maximum 8 feet and uh, here we can see uh, it's called the cage here it is called the hoop uh, the bottom width of cage must be uh, 2 feet 7 inches and top width must be uh, 2 feet 3 inches see here uh, we can see in the figure clearly uh, at the bottom the width is uh, uh, at the bottom you can see the width is high when compared to top uh, and uh, the gap between hoop to hoop is 4 feet so it's called hoop and uh, from here to here uh, the gap uh, must uh, between the hoop to hoop must be 4 feet and uh, at landing the ladder case should be extended at uh, 2 feet to 3 feet uh, to hold an easy climbing of the person so these are the different uh, specifications uh, you must keep in mind uh, as far as the ladder is concerned